In Hertfordshire, Paul and little Paul are on a different mission. Where are you going? In Rosie's room. I'm coming. Colin. I'm coming. OK. okay. Today, Paul is building Rosie a cot so she can finally sleep in her own room. I've loved co-sleeping every minute of it, but now it is kind of keeping her up and me up, and I think she deserves a good night's sleep, and I think I definitely deserve a good night's sleep. This is the next stage of Sam's master plan. <laughs> to finally get back into bed with Paul. Paul's actually really good when it comes to DIY and secretly I think he likes it when he has to get his toolbox out the garage. Honestly, like, he can do so much in the house. More than I thought, and I feel like since he's become a dad, he's getting better and better. <laughs> and little Paul just can't wait to help his dad. Please stop doing that, what you're doing. You're just getting it everywhere. Look at this. Bless him. I know that he wants to help out and hang out with his dad, but he's just been a little monkey. He's making so much mess, he's not helping at all. It all gets a bit too much for Paul, who needs some reinforcement. Sam? I'll stop it now, Paul, because Mummy's coming to clear it up. Come on, that's really unnecessary. Oh, what are you doing? And it's time for the lady herself to see if her bed's fit for a princess. Rosie's trying to climb in. I wasn't there. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Have a look at this. Welcome I'm to glad you like it, it Rosie, because this is your new bed, honey. Lay down. Go sleep. Good night. We love you. Bye. Love you. Good night. Bye. I'm so pleased that Rosie is happy with her cot. I feel like once I've got her in her sleep routine, Paul and I will have our evenings back together. You know, we can have dinner, watch films, stuff we haven't done in like years. Rosie's happy, but after Sam moves the cot into position, Paul's not so sure. I don't think the room looks right. It looks ridiculous. No, but it's, it's just, it is what it is for now. This is the main access to the stairs. So every time someone walks past and the floorboards creak, She's been sleeping in this room with me for weeks as well, so she, she's familiar with this room. She's comfortable. Yeah, but she's right on the door. She's right. Surely that's not... It doesn't matter, does it? Once the door's shut, that's her bed. I well, know, but who sleeps by the door? Don't you think the bed should have come out of here and it should have just been a cot in the room rather than a bed? Well, where's the bed going to go? I don't know. It now cuts off access to the bathroom. You don't even use this bathroom. Don't this you bedroom. do? No, you never have to come in this room, ever. What about when I bath him? Oh, what, so you can't do this? <laughs> Look, she can fit through perfectly. Yeah, she can. <laughs> She's the tiniest person in the house. <laughs> but if you're coming back in bed with me, no one's going to sleep in here anyway. Well, let's just leave it for now, because you're not going to start so expanding it. It should have just been a cot. It's fine. This looks ridiculous. It doesn't. It does. You're really dramatising it. I'm not. It just, I think it looks ridiculous. OK, well, thank you for your input, but it's fine for now. I'm not sure what all the fuss is about and why Paul thinks the cot should be a certain place. Once she's had her first night in it, we can then see if it's in the wrong place or not.